Hey y'all, how you doing? Hello, 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 hello. I'm so, so happy to be back with you um, and to come on here and just wish you a beautiful wrap up to 2023 and um, help get you on your way into 2024. I wanted to come back on and do the 2024 year head spreads as a thank you, really, um, to all of you who are being so beautifully patient with me on my journey as I, you know, go away in my cocoon and, and, and transform what the next chapter of uh, me and YouTube really looks like. Um, I will be coming back in 2024. This is the beginning of that. <laughs> um, it will be in a new way. I'll be discussing a lot of topics and sort of topical videos, um, maybe with some readings thrown in as requested. Um, but my purpose and my, my desire in 2024 is to help, to serve you, to talk about the things that I feel will be of the most help in terms of a growth perspective, in terms of a healing perspective, and again, the, these readings that we're going to be looking at uh, for 2024 is, is me saying just thank you so much. So many of you uh, message me and leave comments on older videos saying, you know, we miss you, hoping you're well. And I just, I just appreciate it so much. That love and, and reaching out to me is the reason that I was inspired to, to do this surprise round of 2024 year ahead videos. I, I just, the love is real. The love I have for you is real. And I, I think about you guys. I appreciate you. I'm so excited to be back with you so soon. And I have some really exciting things coming up in 2024. And I want to bring you guys on that journey with me. And so a lot to look forward to, a lot to discuss. Uh, there's been a lot going on for me in the past year, a lot that I've realized and been inspired around. And I'm just really excited to, to share those things with you, my my tribe, my people, my, my crow spirits. Um, I just so appreciate each and every one of you for watching this, for, for staying in the journey with me. All of you who subscribe to my newsletter, I just appreciate it so much. That's where the most up-to-date news uh, for me really lies. And so definitely sign up for the newsletter if you want, you know, really up-to-date uh, crow realness. And um, yeah, this is my love letter to you. This is my thank you to you. So with that being said, here are your 2024 year ahead videos. And thank you guys again. And most of all, it is always and for old time's sake, thank you for being you <laughs> and be well until next year. Hey, Sagittarians, how y'all doing? Welcome. We're going to be taking a look at your 2024 year ahead spread here. So before I get into the <laughs> beauty that are your cards for this year, um, let's talk about your meditation. So it was short and sweet. I saw the image of Hathor, uh, who is a goddess and energy from an uh, Egyptian lore. And she's represented by the lion. So I saw a lion with Hathor. She's, uh, just for context purposes, she's sort of the um, the equivalent of, of Aphrodite um, in Greek mythology. So she represents, you know, love, fertility, um, feminine energy, um, birth cycles, strength, all of that good stuff. And so I saw this lion next to her, lioness, lion next to her. And I, I saw this lion, you know, start walking away and I saw it sort of go on a journey. And then I saw it take its claw and sort of scratch at this space in front of it and saw that it was really just paper. And it ripped the paper open, right? It was like walking in like a, I don't know, like a wooded area. So actually kind of something like this um, on the devil key here. And then I saw it like, go through this paper wall into this very white space. Like it was so white, it was blinding. And I saw it ascend this white staircase and then sit at the top and then just stay there. And it just grew brighter and brighter and brighter. And then I heard um, like this part from a song. I, 
uh, I'm not a positive who it's by. Maybe Ellie Goulding, I don't know. But it's that song, um, What Are You Waiting For? And it, it's the Love Me Like You Do, I think. But it was the part of What Are You Waiting For? And I saw the lion just stay there and, and sit there in all of its power. And then I got this sense and I heard that the year that you are about to embark on, you're going to be living experiences that will be remembered for a long time to come. Meaning I see you in years from now, looking back on experiences and potentials that you're going to have this year and going like, wow, like I remember 2024, like 2024 was significant. Like I remember this happened and this happened. Like it's, it's one of the years that are going to go down in the record books. It's, it's not one of those years. It's just like a transition year. This is very significant, which is brilliant. And um, so your animal for this year is <laughs> the most major of the major arcanas. You have the cosmic egg, which is the world key in the tarot. But the cosmic egg it, it represents not just the completion of a given cycle, but you coming to a place where you feel like you have outgrown all of the, uh, the life and energy that you've come to so far, and you are really stepping into a position of power within yourself that is incredibly new and born out of everything you've learned so far. So all the efforts that you've put in, all of the miles that you've put in, all of, all of the lessons you've learned along the way, it's like going like, check. And I really feel like this year is very much about understanding the flow of timing the flow of duality and really understanding that within yourself, it's really about allowing yourself to step into your own light <laughs> and thus being able to receive the absolute highest potential of what you are here to receive in this lifetime. It's sort of like, it just feels like this is the penultimate year for you. And I know that that has like a context of like, but there, there is that, that sense of like things ending and things beginning. That, that's why it feels that way. It feels like it's the, it's some things are, are coming to a close and tidying up and sealing off and then new things are coming from it. It just really feels that way. And your oracle is sisters of the season, cycles of growth, natural law, divine order. This is about timing. And this is about understanding that, you know, when we allow ourselves to align with cycles of growth and, and divine order, it really doesn't seem like it's such a, you know, two two steps forward, one step back experience. It, there's a certain flow that's available to us when we truly are like the trees, like nature, and understand that there's a season for everything. And that when winter comes and the trees lose their leaves, they're not going like, oh God, like <laughs> when is spring already? No, they just are in winter when it's winter. And then when spring comes, they are in spring. They're not thinking about the summer. So there's really something about embodying each cycle of your life and seeing it, you know, in its perfection exactly as it is, instead of wishing it were different or waiting for the next thing to come or yearning for what has been. There is a mastery around this that's coming through for you. And I feel like that lion energy is really beautifully embodying that. In this, in this really powerful and confident way, right? You know, going back to Hathor and that that idea of, of creation and fertility and strength and love, there really is something coming through for you around, it really takes a certain strength of, how do I say it? Strength of soul, honestly. It's a strength of soul. Um, and confidence in, in your own path and trust in the universe that allows us to be patient and allows us to receive when it's our time to receive. I think that's really, really beautiful. So your challenge for this year, fascinating Sagittarius, is temperance because you are temperance and it's like you are coming through as your own challenge. But I want to point something out. So traditionally, this does represent balance right? It does represent patience. But there's also something about it with the flamingo that represents being seen, standing out, being in the spotlight, but also being seen for your unique self, right? You do not mistake flamingos for any other animal. And that comes up again in the reading as well in your, in your place of victory. So the fact that this is coming through as your challenge as well, I feel like there might be some opportunity this year to allow yourself to be seen for the unique being that you are and allowing the spotlight 
to really hold you in center stage in some way, shape, or form. This could take a lot of different forms. I feel like for some of you, it could be giving your real, your true opinion about something, which you guys are brilliant at, right? But really speaking your truth around something and as a result, an opportunity opens up or the right people or opportunities find you. There's something about that. I can even see like an example of like, social media, speaking out around something on social media and, and certain people see it and it opens up something for you or opens you up to a new community or new potential. There's something about speaking your truth like only a Sagittarius can that aligns you with bigger and better opportunities that, that are just, I'm hearing it's just up your alley, just up your alley. It's really beautiful. Because flamingo energy, like as a medicine, represents those who are public speakers, actors, performers, um, you know, people who are in the spotlight and have a high visibility to them. So I do feel like there's something within that. Now, for the devil here, this is your advice. This is Capricorn energy. You know, when this comes up as your advice, it's really fascinating because we have the, the bunny here, this poor bunny, right? This represents fear. This represents blasting through your fear and freeing yourself of your own self-imposed limitations, right? But it's also about being aware of it so that you can, right? Because this is about our shadow sides, right? That's devil energy. So what we're not aware of can control us, right? It's like Carl Jung said, and I'm going to butcher this quote a bit, but until we make the unconscious conscious, it will control our lives and we will call it fate. And that's really coming through for you around this energy and your advice. It's really about allowing yourself to see the full picture of what is inside of you and the beliefs that you have and the patterns that you hold so that you can, if you so desire, shift them into something more positive that you choose and to have emotional autonomy, right? This is about recognizing your fear so that you don't have to, you know, be the victim of it in a way. But this is a big soul lesson you're learning, right? This is a major arcana. Now, your victory is beautiful. So we have three of pentacles here. Now, remember when I said you would never mistake a flamingo for any other animal? The same can be said of the giraffe. So this is, again, very much about your unique self and being willing to be seen as your unique self and the opportunities that you'll align with because of it and the enjoyment that'll come out of being appreciated for you right? So the fact that this is your victory, this is also has to do with your personal, this is the, the key of the master artisan, right? This is the, what you are particularly good at that no one else is. The way that you do something that is unique to you, right? That no one else can do. It's, it's really, really beautiful, Sagittarius. The fact that this is coming through as your victory, because this also shows you reaching for new heights and really stepping into a reality where, you feel incredibly grounded and satisfied in how you're spending your time. Whether how you spend your time leads to monetary gain or just emotional fulfillment or really, really fulfilling relationships, it doesn't matter so much. It's really about the feeling of like, I'm really enjoying how I'm spending my time and I feel like I'm utilizing my own creative spirit. Absolutely stunning, nothing else for it. Now, your outcome here is really interesting. So we've got, I'm going to hold this in the, it came up in the reverse. I'm going to hold it in the upright. So you've got two of fungi, which is two of pentacles, right? Came up in reverse. And then the hummingbird. Beautiful. So this is page of swords energy, which is about curiosity, ideas, messages. It also speaks of romance and a very full heart back to that Hathor love goddess energy as well. I do feel like you're going to have some very emotionally fulfilling relationships um, proceed this year or, or, you know, come into your life this year. And it feels like it's very heart, like my heart feels incredibly full looking at this hummingbird. Yeah. It's about the sweetness of life. Hummingbird also reminds us to lighten up and not take things so seriously. So the fact that this is your outcome as well feels like a really beautiful balance to some of the, you know, this more serious tone of these, all these major arcanas you have going on. So the two of pentacles in the upright is about balancing work and home life. It's about having a balanced perspective. But the fact that this came up in reverse, honestly, I feel for you, and I'm going to hold it in reverse now, really represents an end to you being on the fence or having indecision around things. It really feels like you are committing to something, either an aspect of yourself or something that you set out to do, 
right? Maybe a dream that you have, maybe an idea you have, maybe it's a relationship that you want to manifest for yourself this year. It's like, you're no longer on the fence. You're not indecisive about it. You are just taking action for it. You're being the archer that you are and really stepping into it, being the lion as well. And just going, I'm not on the fence. I'm just going to go for it. And I'm not going to weigh myself down by ideas of, of what could go wrong or, you know, is this the best road? I'm just going to step into myself speak honestly, attract the people to me that really are going to vibe with my particular, you know, energy signature as it were. And as a result, just fly forward feeling like I am unencumbered, closing out certain cycles and bringing in a lot of new potential and light and visibility for myself. And that just feels so incredibly positive. You know, I also feel like there could be a significant shift to the work that you do, whether it's how you make your income or what your work looks like or switching it up entirely. But I feel like the way that you make money or certain revenue streams, there's a lot to be said around branching out. And I feel like Sagittarius energy in its, in its best, most embodied form is about branching out because you guys are the adventurers, right? So think about that because this is coming in as your place of challenge. I feel like the more that you can open up your options, the more that you could be an adventurer, the more that you can be the lion, right? The king or queen of, of the jungle and going forward and, and really having the confidence it takes to take risks. Ooh, those risks are going to pay off for you this year. It's just about, you know, doing it in a calculated way that is not being informed by your shadow energy or, or things that don't really work for you aren't in your alignment, but really stepping into your unique self and soul and really trusting that you have a particular soul purpose here on this earth and you deserve to enjoy how you spend your time, how you earn your money and have emotionally fulfilling relationships. And I feel like that is the key and the outcome for you this year. And I feel like there could be a change up in terms of your income or how you how you earn, but it feels incredibly positive, <laughs> like very, very positive. So really, really beautiful Sagittarius. <laughs> With that being said, I'm wishing you a most blessed and happy 2024 ahead. Thank you so much for being back here with me. It's, it's so fun being back with you guys. And um, with that being said, just thanks again. And most of all, thank you for being you and be well until next time.